And we're back for Castlevania. Again. Yes, I'm going to have five less HPs. Oh well. I'm reminded that I was planning to set this thing on my desk and just play PS1 games on it. Although I honestly don't have that many PS1 games. Didn't you like throw away your X6 desk? Because you actually keep it when I told you to. I don't think I have it somewhere, I don't know. So, I mean honestly the less I have to use the uh, X anniversary collection probably for the better. For some reason, I just feel like that's going to be kind of a shit show. The, vi the video the video is going to be even more compressed for X4, I bet. It is, yeah. On the plus side, the collection version of the... Uh... Well, I, I suppose there really is no plus side to any part of X6. Oh, you I was going to say it has the voice acting removed, but that's really not much of a thing. No. I will not. You shall regret those words. Who we will meet again. Right, so mailbag questions while I'm sitting here playing. How do you decide who plays what and who you play with? I don't know. Well, arbitrarily, basically. Yeah, so it basically boils down to, I want to play this. Hey, do you want to play this with me? It's just easiest to get, uh... It's easiest to get Matt to do it since he, you know, lives with me, so... Pretty much. Then Rob is too absorbed in FF14 and whatever else he does. Pretty much just FF14 at this point, isn't it? Uh. And Striker is usually at work for most of the day. Granted, that's usually the case for me too, but I've been off work for the last couple of weeks. And I'm not going back until next week. Next question. What, what is the best way to get into D&D? Uh, you have to want to? You have to want it, Jude! You have to need it! You have to have... You have to, have, you have to want to learn about Bazongas. Also, you actually have to be willing to learn. That's kind of the most important thing. If you're not willing to learn how to play the game, you're going to have a bad time. And you're gonna kind of sort of hold the game back for everybody else. Don't do that. That's not fun for anybody. There isn't a game system on the face of the planet that you don't have to put some effort into learning. Pretty much. That really the question is, why wouldn't you put forth the effort to learn how to play? If you don't want to roll dice and shit and keep track of character sheets and numbers, just stick to freeform RPing. Don't waste your time, don't waste anybody else's time. Alright, that's the next question. I think that I think I'll save that one for one round around. I think funny. Wait. What is my favorite D and D class? Uh, don't really have one. I just kind of... I just kind of play whatever class I feel like. There is no rhyme or reason to it. So 
Some, sometimes I feel like you're not, sometimes I don't. Thank you for that uh, 90s TV commercial reference. I don't know what that was referencing. Dr. Pepper? No, no, it's a Mounds and Almond Joy commercial. Oh. No. Yeah, honestly, class choice comes down to whatever character idea I had brewing in my head at that given moment. He's gonna scroll past all those other questions too. All one of them? Yes, all one of them. The what got me into what got me into into anime. Uh, well, I think we could probably both answer these questions. I honestly don't remember what got me into anime. Oh, well, that was quick. For me, it was, uh, I think I have, I've answered this one before, long ago. The first first anime I ever watched was uh, Magical Princess Gigi. Although at the time I didn't really know it was an anime. But then after that, I would say actually no. The thing that really got me into it was uh, my cousin showing showing me and my older sister on my one half way back when VHSs were a thing, and there was like two episodes per uh, per tape, and it was only sub. I vaguely remember those times. I'm thinking about it, I'm trying to recall the first anime I ever actually watched, and I'm pretty sure it was Zerum the Animation. So, I guess you could consider that what got me into anime, because it's the first thing I can remember. My cousin also, uh, also showed us the Project Echo. I've never seen that, what is it? It is about a schoolgirl who is based essentially the daughter of Superman and Wonder Woman, except Japanese high school student for some reason. Ah, okay. Also, she has red hair. Huh. For also for reasons. Alien genetics. I don't know. Oh yeah, these shits again. And as a young man, I was I was enthralled with the fact that cartoon boobies were a thing I was being shown. Well, it was like, holy shit, Japanese cartoons are amazing. Something, something, Chun Li's tits. Wait, that I did not actually equip anything else. I just equipped the sword and was just like, let's go! Nice. That's the kind of gung ho attitude most employers appreciate. <laughs> after, after Project Echo and Rama One Half and Magical Princess GG, uh, I think the, the next time I'd even seen it, it was on the Sci Fi Channel. I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was Iria. Also, yeah, the chat kind of died. Yes, we killed it. Our technical difficulties murdered the chat. Yep. That's how, that's how it works. We're now sitting here by ourselves, talking to ourselves. All by myself. Please don't. I don't remember the rest of the words anyway. Good. Takes one to know one. We'll both be losers together. That was the plan. <laughs> okay, what what is my favorite anime genre? Uh, how do you pronounce that? Seinen. Seinen. Whatever the equivalent of anime for young adult men is. Not not shown in that. Seinen, I think. Yes. The step up from that. Unless I was asking, like, uh, I assume that's probably what it meant. I, I don't know. 
I can still watch watch like shonen anime, but effect is greatly diminished at this point. Why do sunglasses lower my intelligence? Because they make you look dumb. I am walk I suppose I am walking around a castle or something. As for me, I don't really hmm. I guess it would be adventure shows like like uh Drawing a point. A, a, a recent one that comes to mind is uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Shows like that. Medieval adventure type stuff. Or like Slayers. I think that was the first anime I ever like. Oh, I can't remember if I bought Yuria first. No, I bought Slayers first. I, have, I had some VHS tips somewhere. I don't know what the fuck I did with them. I remember watching a couple of them with you, like one of the movies. I know I still have the uh, the motion picture and two uh, uh -huh. that, that one tape with like two sub decks in there. I think the DVD was called Book of Spells or something. Mm -hmm. I watched part of Elephant Light. It was very strange. <laughs> I remember I watched like the first episode of episode of it. And I was like, look at this is this silly clumsy secretary girl. Holy shit. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Definitely wasn't expecting some uh, sudden decapitation. Yeah, that was a bit out of nowhere. What is my overall favorite show? Go Go 13. Hmm. As far as anime goes, I would have to say Outlaw Star. And I know that you don't like the second half of Outlaw Star, but I still love it all the way through. Well, up and well, basically up until the whole the Galactic Legoland becomes the important important part of the story. I love it. Once it becomes the important part of the story, I don't care much for it. I've got the DVDs. I bought it on the DVD. Buy it on the DVD! My holiday classic, Jingle All the Way! Oh boy. What have you never seen, Not? I'm gonna guess an Outlaw Star. Or Golgo 13. Probably Golgo 13. Most likely. Well, I can remedy the Outlaw Star thing. Well, I do well, only, yeah. uh... I, I guess we can remedy both things, but... Not only did I buy the entirety of the GoGo 13 series, I also bought the, uh... Well, one of the movies. Mm -hmm. I watched it with Jake while he was here, and... That's not in, that's not in widescreen. <laughs> So there's a nice big fat border on the center of the TV. Kind of like when you're playing a PS1 game on a PS3. Yeah, like that basically. I've uh, it it I think it aged pretty well, all things considered. Volvo 13 movie? Yeah. I mean, it's still good. Break all the glass. It is also 80s as fuck. Well, yeah. It still strikes me as incredibly hilarious that, like, I could have potentially discovered that sooner, but... I saw it, I remember seeing it at the, uh, the video rental place while, uh... On what, well, I don't remember what age Jake and I were, but it was his birthday party. It was just like, well, pick a movie we'll watch. And on, on the on the shelf right next to GoGo13 was the Fatal Fury, the motion picture. And it's like, well, this thing with the dude with the gun looks pretty sweet, but this one is Fatal Fury, and I know what that is. No harm in that. 
So I could have had a super life-changing moment right then and there, but yeah, that's not how it happened. Not that Fatal Fury the motion picture isn't good. As far as uh, adaptations for... Well, no, I don't know. It wasn't really an adaptation. As far as uh, anime is based on existing properties go. Yep. Now I am eyeing my PlayStation suspiciously as the plastic creaks due to the warming up. And here I thought only my PS3 did that. It's just settling. Ghost! Zombie ghost, go home. Theoretically, I could stand here for a, for a while and find ghost, but not gonna. Yeah, that would be boring. I am a gentleman and a scholar, so how am I gonna do that? Want holy water. What smells like chocolate in here? Seriously. I don't know. I don't have any chocolate. Stop fucking jumping at me. It's been bothering me for like half an hour. I smell chocolate, but I don't see chocolate. There's there's no chocolate in here. Maybe it's your imagination. Maybe it's your coffee. It could be the coffee. Although, I don't know why it would smell like chocolate. I used hazelnut creamer. Uh -huh. I'm going to go get a soda. Ow. Oh, you mean not more coffee? Yes, I mean not more coffee. Okay, let's, uh... Get these next questions in here. Oh, hey, hey. Name, name people specifically for this one. I'll wait for Matt. I suppose I'll wait for Matt to get back. Next question actually is split up for me, you, and Strike, and then then the second one from that. I saw that. Long hair or short hair? Long hair. You mean like preference for? I'm assuming it means preference on women. I would have to say it depends on the woman. By and large, long hair. I like long hair, but uh, there are definitely women that look really good with short hair. Well, yeah, but... Long hair is superior. Depends on the person. Well, generally speaking, long hair is superior. It's a question for Rob's preference. Yeah. Getting hit by boomerangs. Well, stop getting hit by boomerangs. I would if boomerangs weren't going through like the floor and shit. Video game physics. Gonna have to eat that pot roast. Delicious wall pot Fuck roast. I'll eat the turkey instead. Well, oh. I guess you could eat the turkey. Pot roast is special. Wall turkey. Yeah, Rob, Rob's question is, do you like a lot of facial and body hair or only a little? If I know Rob, the answer to that is... That's a gay. <laughs> Obviously. Well, yeah. I think that one, that one's also, also more for me and Rob. Why don't I play FF14 with Rob? Because I fucking love myself. Or at least I don't hate myself that much. Oh, 
what game do I really, really want to play on the show? Uh, I don't know, actually. I guess I'm, well, I'm kind of playing one of them right now. I'm trying to think of one that I would really like to play on the show. And I still want to play Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I hope the to finish, finish shot there for me. Yes. We're not going to be those people that just like start a game, get halfway through, and then stop and move on to another one. That's, that's rude. Although there has been no shortage of pausing in the middle of the game to start another one. Well, for instance, Shantae and Sonic 3. I beat Sonic 3. And I'm still working on it. Yeah, but that's like your thing. <laughs> I generally try not to do that. I don't think it really counts though. I'm gonna be playing Soul Edge because I'm doing that with Striker as well as the uh, deal. That's kind of how I look at it. I look at it as separate things. Three mans. There has been plenty of us going back and forth between games just so we don't get bored of playing one game Limp. all the time. Though. You seem human and yet. Hello, I am your designated you love interest. Except not. I've come to destroy this castle. Wait, Maria totally is supposed then to be out there as love interest. If he were interested now. in that kind of thing. Yeah, if he were actually interested. How Kyle. Do I really do I really know Edgy from Edgy well, Plays? Yes. We'll we're married. If you live that so long. she has Can yeah, so I have Canadian citizenship and she has American citizenship. Or that is the joke anyway. It was a marriage of convenience. And Tim Hortons. <laughs> I could go for some Timmies right now. I know you've been asked this, but do you ever want to write smut? Yes, I do. Have I? No. Mostly because sitting down and writing at home is not a thing I do. Shut the fuck up, phone. I have writer's block while I'm at home. There's just, there's just some, I don't know, something about being at home for me is like, why would I be doing anything other than playing video games or watching an anime? Because people have more than one interest. Most people are weird. <laughs> me, I am not. I am not weird at all. You see, I would drive up there, Marge, but like I said, I probably would have had to leave like really early yesterday. Whatever that gem is to open the blue door up there. Are you are you gonna try to tell me that you're not weird, Marjorie? Don't worry, he's lumping me in with these quote unquote weird people too. You're just totally fucking weird. I diversify my life by playing different kinds of video games. God damn it, I keep looking at the small screen. Well, it's not like you can't see the gameplay on the small screen. Well, I'll have to bring that one up to Robin. Oh boy, it's one of these questions. Who did I shack up with in Mass Effect? Tally? Uh, I had my... 
Let's see. One character shacked up with Caden. One sh character shacked up with Tally. One character shacked up with, um, uh, shit. Now I can't think of her name. Miranda? No. Jack? No. Liara? No. Although one character, yeah, did shack up with Liara. Uh, Taylor? Samantha Taylor? No. Kelly? No! From the first game, God. Ashley. Ashley, yes. Jesus, the, the okay. Ra the racist. Okay. One went with Kaden, one went with Tally, one went with Ashley, and then with Jack in the second game. And uh, one went with Liara. In, in Mass Effect 2, I had a, I had a save file for basically every level. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not selectable. Stop that shield stuff. Stop it. I like how when he has the shield up, you can't hit him from behind for some reason. Luckily, his shield protects him. God damn it! I am gonna beat the crap out of this armor man. And it seems he succeeded. Yes, More of all hot, hot roast. Roast. And now I'm gonna sit here for a few seconds. Oh right, the elevator. Yeah, primarily, primarily though, it was it was tally. Because I have good taste. The Star Ocean 3, I don't remember much except that uh, Nell Zelfer was the hotness. Yes, the hotness. I actually have Star Ocean 2, but I haven't played much of it. Star Ocean 2 for me was... Uh... I think I, I did Claude and Rita once, but I prefer Claude and Celine. That's kind of as far as I went. I didn't really care about anybody else. Uh, Fire Emblem? Tiki? Well, I suppose it's Mel one. With male Robin only, though. Female Robin, Crom. Because something, something, confidence. That's a terrible joke. You should feel bad about yourself. That's a very, very recurring joke. Persona 3, Elizabeth. I never actually played Persona 4, so can't answer that one, but if Margaret is an option, then Margaret. The way I figure it, the both 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 protagonists of the Persona 3 and Persona 4 are not stupid and would thus not actually date their friends. Because once that shit goes south, like everybody suffers for it. I suppose that's a fair point. Uh, Dragon Age? I kind of did one for everybody again there, too. All in Dragon Age 1. Yeah, I haven't ever played but more than a few hours of the first Dragon Age. Never really got into it. Time for Doppel Ah, uh, yes. Is this like the doppelganger in one of the DS games where if you unequip all your gear before you go in, it has no stats? I don't think so. I know I know they do that in one of the Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening. Invincible Judo Kicks! I can't remember what game that was. I think it was... Uh, might have been the... God, what was it? Uh, shut up, phone. 
Next episode. Next time on Radical Bromance. More, more mailbag. I have a mailbag.